Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Passport 2510RB. This particular model is in the rattan interior. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. So one of the things I love that Passport does is they give you a ton of countertop space. You can see you have all this right here, great prep space, and that's further aided by giving you dual sink top covers. If we take those off and take a look at the sink, you'll see it is a double bowl sink, larger on the left, smaller on the right, with the high rise faucet here in order to aid and help doing dishes. And then right over here is the three burner Atwood cooktop, the front one being high output there, and then underneath is the oven for baking. Now one of the things I love when you have a big countertop like this, it means you also have a lot of storage underneath. Starting right up front here, as soon as you walk in the door, you have good storage here. In the bottom one there would be great, you know, if you want to kick your shoes off, throw your sandals and stuff in there, you can do that. Come around to the side here, open this one up, you see you have great storage up top, we have a couple access points to that storage, and then you have these really long full extension ball bearing drawers, so plenty of room for your silverware and everything else that you want to put under there, like your spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. And as you come around back into this side, again you have access there, both the top and bottom, and then underneath the oven, take a look at that, that is massive storage, great for pots and pans there. Now if we take a look up top here, you can see you have your fully functional hood with a light and fan, microwave right over here, beautiful raised panel cabinetry right here, the brush nickel pulls, we open that up you can see you have good pantry space right there, and then underneath a nice big kitchen window so you can look out and see your campsite, and then underneath right here you have an LED light to make it nice and bright. And also an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker or toaster or anything like that, you can do that there. And LED lights are very advantageous too because they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power of your standard halogen bulbs. Rounding out the kitchen right over here is your fridge and freezer combo. You can see you have plenty of space in here. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Meaning if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug that into shore power, it's automatically going to switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Right up top here, you have a little vent too. If you take a look at the ceiling, that's great. If you want to have a cross breeze come through here and don't want to turn on your AC. Speaking of, right there is your AC that is ducted throughout and also has a quick dump option here. So that way as you're loading and unloading, you can open that up and have all the cool air drop right down into this room. Also LED lights throughout as I mentioned and you have speakers on the ceiling there as well. Making our way back a little bit further, this is really neat too. So this is a very versatile space. As you'll see, you have two hanging rods, so if you want to use this as wardrobe space, you can do that. Personally, this if you take my opinion, this coach has a lot of wardrobe space, so I'd probably use this one as pantry. You have the uh, shelves right here, I'd probably leave those in. Use that side all as pantry, same thing, little cubby hole over there. And then, you know, you can use this one for wardrobe space here. Now right back in the corner is the bathroom. If we take a look, you'll see your foot flush lever toilet right there in the corner. Uh, you have the neo-angle shower off to the side here. That is a glass shower door on there. You will also notice the hand wand as well as some shelves and a nice big skylight up top. Over to the side here is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. And then down below you can see your sink top and vanity with additional storage beneath that. Now as I mentioned, I just was talking about a lot of wardrobe space. This is what I'm talking about. Take a look at this. Open this guy up. You have a hanging rod going all the way across there. So if you want to use this for wardrobe, you can hang clothes there. If you don't, that's just huge storage for anything else you want to put in there. So that's pretty great. Then right up top here, you have a shelf with an additional window to let a lot of uh, additional light in the back side of the coach. And an electrical outlet here in case you want to plug anything in. Moving over into our super slide, you will see the uh, beautiful rattan interior there, as I uh, mentioned, and you have your big U-shaped dinette. Uh, I love a U-shaped dinette. Even though this is built to be a couple's coach, you know, you're probably still going to have guests over, whether it's 
friends, family, grandkids, neighbors, whatever it may be. This allows everyone to sit around. You can enjoy a meal together. You can play games together. Uh, and so this is great for uh, having in a couples coach, not just for bunk models. The other cool thing about it though is if you do have guests that want to stay the night, you can go ahead and remove these legs right here. This table will drop down right along these rails, take some cushions, fill it in, and that will create an extra sleeping space for those guests. Also, both sides of the dinette have access and it's easy to get to. You have the doors right here on the side, so that way you don't have to lift up the cushion to be able to get down it or get in there. Same thing right over here. The other thing I like that Passport has done is you'll notice this is a leather on the seat, so if you do spill anything, it is easy cleanup. Moving over, right over here, we get into the sofa. Um, now, this is something that Passport has changed. Before, this was a jackknife sofa. They've actually gone, uh, switched them all over and have gone to a trifold, which is a much better system. Uh, the trifold sofa is extremely comfortable to sit on, but it's also very comfortable to sleep on. If you see this, uh, this is the, the essentially would be the head cushion, and it uses all the cushions in the couch, so a very comfortable bed. So again, you can sleep additional guests that come over and stay the night. Then right up front here, you will see your entertainment center. So those rainy days when you want to watch some TV, you have this right here. Underneath is your multimedia center. This is a radio and CD player, and it's Bluetooth capable. So if you have uh, a smart device, you are able to connect to this wirelessly via Bluetooth. Then it's also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, pop it in, and you can do just that. You have a cutout here for any extra components, couple USB ports in there as well. Underneath here, you see you have good storage, uh, pretty deep for an entertainment center. A lot of them are really shallow. Then up top here, you have the tinted glass again with additional storage. So you make your way into the bedroom here. Uh, a couple things I really like about Passport. One is the bed itself. This is a residential size uh, 60 by 80 queen bed. So if you take a look at that, you can see how big it is. That's a big deal. If you're a taller guy and you're sick of, or, or gal, you're sick of uh, shopping around and uh, you know finding out that your feet are always hanging off beds, this is one that you definitely want to pay attention to because you get that extra length. Also on both sides here, you see you have, again, mirrored wardrobe. As I mentioned, tons of wardrobe space in this, co uh, this coach. So you have the hanging space there, shelf up top, shelf down below, electrical outlets on both sides too for charging cell phones, CPAP machines, anything like that. You have LED reading lights here underneath and storage going all the way across here. Again, you have that tinted glass, but good additional storage there. Now, if you take a look at the foot of the bed, this is pretty great too. Rather than having curtains or an accordion, you have actual slider doors. So when the guests do stay the night and you want that added privacy, you can go ahead and close these. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, if you want a TV, you will see right here is a spot for that. Uh, so that way you can watch a show before bed. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 2510RB. This one is in the rattan, uh, rattan interior. I really like this coach. It's under 5,000 pounds, so it's relatively easy to tow. You have the nice rear bathroom with a ton of wardrobe storage in here. Uh, you have the big U-Dinette and now the tri-fold sofa in case you have guests, they can still have a place for them to sleep. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.